What is up, East and Oregon? This is Dodzy, and this is your sports show for Tuesday, October 12th, 2021. This is all brought to you by Buffalo Peak Golf Course out in Union. Man, Dana is doing a great job. I want, I'm going to read you a review from Seattle Steve. Beautiful course with beautiful views. Plenty of challenges here with multiple sand traps hiding behind rolling hills. Water came into play for me as I sent one to the lumber yard. Greens were very nice. The best I've seen in a while. Friendly people in the clubhouse. Affordable. If you're close by or passing through, I recommend around here. Seattle Steve. Google review. I mean, the proof's in the pudding. The course is absolutely gorgeous, man. And, and like I said, Dana's killing it out there. 30 bucks for 18 holes with a cart. How do you beat it? Buffalo Peak Golf Course. Meet me at the peak. Sports. EOU this weekend, man. Homecoming. It was really cool. They had the baseball alumni game. They had the softball alumni game. That's a top-notch program right there that Nicole Christian's running. And it's, it's really fun to watch. Um, then we had football homecoming. We lost, you know, at home to Rocky Mountain. It sucks, but it's, it is what it is. Um, and then after they had the women's, uh, alumni game for basketball and then the men's alumni game for basketball, it, it was a great weekend. The, there was tailgating back. It was awesome. They had the beer garden. They moved it to the end zone. It it, there's a different element when you add alcohol to a football game. It's crazy. I mean, we went two years without it, and it we got we have we have things coming back to normal in in the sports world slowly. On Friday, Legrand went on the road and played Nissa. They came out on top, football fifty five to sixteen. It's a great day to be a fighting tiger. The girls' soccer team at Legrand they got a big win yesterday at home against Pendleton, two to nothing. Congratulations, ladies. Keep up the good work. The LeGrand boys soccer team is playing right now as we speak. Fruitland, non-conference. Um, they're 1-1-1 one, one, and one in the conference right now, so they're right about in the middle. Um, let's go. We Let's win this conference. Uh, it's, it's a great day to be a fighting Tiger. EOU Volleyball went on the road this weekend. They played Corbin on Friday night and Bushnell on Saturday. Five-set heartbreaker against Corbin. Corbin's the number six team in the country. Um, and we just, we just didn't get it done. It, it, it was, I mean, it went five sets. It was close. Every set was close. So, I mean, we're, we're still right there. We're going to, we're going to be right at the top of the conference come the end of the year. And hopefully we end up meeting Corbin in, in the national tournament. That would be awesome. We'll definitely see them in the CCC tournament. There's no doubt about it. LeGrand High School football has a bye this week. No no game on the schedule. The next game for the Tigers will be Thursday the 21st. Right here at home against Ontario, 7 p.m. It'll be broadcast right here on EO Live TV. It'll be on the LeGrand High School Athletics and Activities Facebook page as well, YouTube. So if you want to tune into that, I mean, that that's... A week from Thursday. If you have any ideas, like it, like if you want a team featured or you want to send me, you know, updates, videos of stuff going on, Kyle at eoalive.tv. I'll I'll include it. I I mean I'm a one man show, so it it's hard for me to cover everything, but I want to include everything. So if, if you have ideas or if you have stories or if you have pictures or if you want something included sports wise. Kyle at EO Alive TV. Non-sports related real quick. Tomorrow, Keeping It Clear with Cody Bowen, the show that Cody and I do once a month. We're going to feature Dane and K9 Molly. So it's going to be 5.30 p.m. tomorrow, and we're going to rock it out live and, and take your comments and do, do that thing. We're going to focus on not talking about COVID because that's what – I don't want to talk about COVID anymore. It, it's just old – it, it really is. It's getting really old. EOU football is going to have to go to the drawing board this week. They've lost three in a row after this uh, homecoming loss, and we're, you know, we're going to have to get it figured out in order to make the national tournament. Um, we're, we'll, we have to win out in the conference pretty much. So hopefully camp and the boys get together and get a game plan and we turn this thing around and, and finish strong because – 
I mean, I'm, I'm a huge fan of camp and EOU football. And, and I think that things can get turned around and that we can get this three game skid out of the way and just uh, move forward, mount up. None of this is possible though, without Buffalo Peak golf course. I mean, it's, the proof is in the pudding. I say it all the time. Take a look. It, t- go out there. Take a look. The course is gorgeous. It is absolutely in great shape right now. And a lot of that's to due to Dana and his team. They are just killing it out at Buffalo Peak. Meet me at the peak, Union, Oregon. That's all I got for you on a Tuesday, Eastern Oregon. I appreciate you. I'm Dodzy, and I'm out. Thank you.